Hey everybody, it's Steven here with a different type of review. Today I'm actually going to be reviewing not a movie or a TV show, I'm going to be reviewing a book. Now, this book was actually sent to me by a very good friend of mine, and his wife actually wrote this book. It is the first one in a series that's actually being made, and this one is called Can't Wait to Grow Up, that's the name of the series, and this book is called The Move by Mary C. Warden. Now, the illustrations are done by, I believe, um, Mary's daughter and um, herself, I believe. And it is a book about uh, a teenage girl named Elizabeth, who goes by Lizzie, and about how she moves to a new town, and it deals with like the struggles of being the new kid in town, while also having to deal with the unfortunate the unfortunateness of being bullied and having to deal with bullies and also how bullying can become a cycle but it's also about the unlikely friendships that you can make and how to overcome and to you know face you know stand against bullying and the book actually deals with this very well it deals with that and also it's about relationships it's about like the relationships that you know you know, a friend can make to someone that maybe they had bullied before or said something mean and actually get to sit down and talk with them and realize, well, wait a minute, there's something more there. And that's what this book does very well. It's a chapter book. How this book is structured, it's actually structured like a somebody's journal. So we get an insight to the main character, who is Lizzie, and, you know, her family and what's going on in her head. What's it like, you know, how she's maneuvering around this new town and you know circumstances and it's a book about compassion and about that we can overcome certain obstacles that even despite when things all go bad or when things look like they're going to be grim there's always hope and it's very much a book about heart and it's a book about you know growing up essentially and learning that growing up is not easy. Uh, now, I read this book. It is a very good read. I, I would highly recommend this book. It is actually um, available on Amazon, and I'll leave a link to where you can purchase the book down in the uh, description below. Now, one of my favorite things about this book is how you actually can relate to the main character. You relate to her because she is um, now entering the teenage years, and that she is a big fan of anime, she's a big fan of video games, and she doesn't have a filter. <laughs> That's what I like about this main character. She doesn't have a filter, although sometimes she does, and because we're getting, because it's done like a diary, you know, somebody's journal, we get an insight to stuff that she would say in, you know, writing down versus what she would, you know, probably not say to somebody while they're there. Um, and that's the thing I really like about the character is that uh, when it first starts out, like anybody, when they move to a new town, they're excited. They're like, hey, you know, new experience. But, hey, you know, she wants to go by this new nickname, Lizzie. But things go a bit downhill when she um, meets her boy. But also, as things take a turn, we find out more about, well, maybe something more is going on with the bully than what we can see on the surface level. I don't want to give too much away because I really highly recommend you checking this book out. And this is actually a good, a great book for young readers too. It's a very easy to read uh, story and it's about, let me see here, 14 chapters. It's 14 chapters long, but it doesn't feel like it's too long. It's one of those books that um, you can pick up for your kids and that parents could read to their kids or that you could read to yourself. It's a very good read and um, if you can dedicate to at least two chapters a night it is it's definitely well worth it um, I would actually highly recommend this and I am looking forward to seeing the um, other books in the series uh, and the book actually does draw from experiences from the author herself and some of the things that she has to go through and that's the thing that I really also enjoy about this book is that you can relate to certain experiences like we can all relate to being the new kid in town to being bullied in one way or another 
and sometimes we accidentally or sometimes without even really thinking about it, we'll fall into picking on somebody else just to make us feel better that's the thing that's kind of the sad cycle about bullying is that we there's a vicious cycle and that the only way to break that cycle is to not do it necessarily with violence but to do it with compassion like that's why I like with one of the other characters in this book is the friend that Lizzie makes he doesn't get upset he doesn't get you know, vicious or even snap back at the person what he does is he forgives them or he forgives them and lets it go that he feels sorry for them that's like well something must be going on with them that you know they feel like that this is an appropriate action to take on somebody else um uh, that's why I really enjoy about this book. It's a very good read, and it does have a great message um, for those who would really, um, uh, for those who aren't, for those kids who are, you know, experiencing certain things and certain topics. Um, this is a good book for them. But yeah, <laughs> I know I'm rambling a little bit. I'm doing this on the fly. It is a very, yeah. I just really, I finished this book. Uh, two nights ago and I really want to do this video to talk about it because I really enjoy this and I love the artwork illustration there um, it's yeah it's just an amazing book uh, anyway um, there for those of you who want to get a copy for yourselves there's going to be a link in the description of the video below um, for those who want to check it out and I just want to give a shout out to my best friend um, thank you for sending me this book and yeah, just thank you for everything. I, I really did enjoy this book, and it definitely makes me want to read more in the future. So if there's ever going to be, you know, more in the series, I definitely would like to check out the next one that's coming. Um, but anyway, till then, this is Steven signing off, and you guys have a great day, okay?